Yeah, this is Paul. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm sitting here uh you know I sent some emails earlier uh this morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I made some videos uh about what the law requires. Yeah. And I emailed about 500 emails and uh, I informed law enforcement that they actually have to enforce the law. <laughs> So oh, I spent the day, I did a little laundry and took a nap and thought I'd shave and just kind of waited around to see what the response was from the emails that I had sent and no one emailed me. It, it seems like no one wants to enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> now I know you're a sheriff and you say, well, it's only in my local county in my jurisdiction but as the law says if you have knowledge of a crime and you don't enforce the law it has nothing to do with the jurisdiction of the county now the violence against women's act is national jurisdiction you do understand that and when I contact sheriff's departments of other counties because this county has not enforced my rights as an American citizen they themselves are liable for not enforcing the laws of the United States. Now there's going to be a lot of sheriffs that have gotten emails that have gotten the evidence that my my right to due process is being violated, that the Violence Against Women's Act is being violated, the Domestic Violence Protection Act is being violated, and their defense is, well, he didn't live in our county. <laughs> but you know of the crime. And since you know it's a crime, they're liable. Now, for every sheriff in the United States that thinks that, well, I live here, so this is the only sheriff's department that I can contact with any information about a crime, <laughs> when the crime is national jurisdiction. <laughs> you know, the United States Constitution, as well as that founding document, <laughs> actually uh, has the jurisdiction of the whole United States. I know there are a lot of sheriffs in a lot of counties that think, well, we don't have to enforce the Constitution unless it applies to our county. But when it applies to the whole, the whole nation, I would have expected to get an email from any sheriff in any county informing me where my kidnapped sons are. <laughs> but it seems that sheriffs in other counties think that they don't have to enforce the law when they have knowledge of a crime. Now, it is a crime to violate the constitutional rights of Americans. It's a crime to violate the civil rights of Americans. <laughs> it's a crime <laughs> to violate the civil liberties. <laughs> it's a crime to violate the humanitarian rights of humanity. <laughs> now, when you're holding my sons hostage for the last six years, and I get a response from a sheriff's department saying, well, it's not in our jurisdiction, that sheriff's department and every sheriff's department in every county that understands that they have to enforce the law will get sued. And once I investigate them, because I make sure that every lawsuit gets a private investigator. <laughs> now, I'm that American citizen that once I file a lawsuit, I have the right to investigate those that I sue. <laughs> and if I find any evidence of any criminality of any sheriff in any county of the United States of America, <laughs> I'll put every sheriff in prison for the rest of their lives. Now, somebody does not understand the lawsuit. Um, I'm going to call you back just a second here.